My name is Hisham Al Harun. Oh, Hisham Al Harun. Mostly known under the Chinese name Jiang Yushan. Oh, my Shaolin Fa Hao name Si Yongshan. I'm the 33 generation Shaolin fighting monk. And I'm holding the ninth degree black belt in Chinese Kung Fu and self-defense. I'm living in Taiwan for more than two decades, nearly three decades. And I was involved in the Chinese military uh, for many, many years. I was a special service combat instructor for the counter-terrorism units in Taiwan. And by this record, I already made history as a first foreigner to be in the secret special service here in Taiwan. As a, as a Kung Fu martial art instructor, I'm also uh, was in the Taiwan national team for more than six years. Six times I was in the Chinese or Taiwan, Taiwan national team for the world championships. They hold the championships every two years. So six years I was in a row, the national team member. I won the world championship title in full contact Sunder. I have more than seven gold medals, eight actually. And uh, I'm also a Chinese chiropractic therapist and I practice this and also help people to heal for their injuries as a rehabilitation exercise. I use Chinese martial massage techniques. I retired from the fighting competition in 2016 when I won the Tokyo mixed martial art karate tournament in the 80 kilogram division. I was 45 years old and from that day on I retired from the combat sport arena. As a special service or special service in Taiwan, I had the opportunity to protect more than three Taiwan officials. Three of them are the presidents of the Taiwan uh, island. The others are the, some majors from the Tainan city or even, even other political uh, important person, I would say like that. When I was young, I was actually very weak. I have a weak constitution. When I was six months years old, I already went to hospital because I was very sick as a baby. And from that day on, I suffer also from a chronic disease. No? This is what I what I suffer from. And because of that, I, I need to study more the healing and internal art of Chinese Kung Fu. My background is that my mother was a ballet dancer. My father was a wrestler. And they came from Syria. In the, my father came from Syria in the middle of the 60s, actually early 60s, uh, as a businessman. My family in Syria are very well known for their Greco-Roman wrestling because all of them are members of the national team. And um, till, till 2013, before the war starts also, also no, in, in Syria, my, my cousin was a national team champion and also uh, in different weight classes in the 80 kilogram class and also over 100 kilogram class. Because of that background, I like to involve into the applicable martial art. I learned in, I was growing up in Germany, Berlin, where I have my education. My education is pure German. And I was, because my father passed away when I was very little, I was 10 years old, from one day to another, I need to be a grown man and I earned my own money by doing dancing during that time. In the 80s it was break dancing. You know? 
and I start with that to earn my first money. After I joined some gangs in Berlin, so I was also a gang member of uh, the street gangs in Berlin city because much more involved into the Arabic Mafia, Turkish Mafia and also what we have in Germany, we have the Multikulti in Berlin especially, uh, kind of brotherhoods. I was, I was involved very deeply in, in, in there. I was in the paratroop special unit in Germany. They select 40 people from hundreds to join the uh, paratroopers. <clears throat> After many years, I studied martial arts as a habit. It started when I was young. My father owned uh, a movie theater in the 70s where he only uh, played the Hong Kong movies. You know? I was involved in that. I was playing Shaolin Kung Fu, uh, 33 Chambers, uh, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. I was, in, I was influenced by these type of movies and this also built up my career. So when I was young, I already know what I want to be. I want to be a Shaolin fighting monk. I reached that goal in 2000 and I became the 33 generation fighting monk. This is actually the elder generation. And because of my deep knowledge in the martial art, in the field of martial art, I'm recognized for that here in Asia. So if people like to looking for me, they need to see my Chinese name. Zhang Yushan. Zhang. Zhang San de Zhang. Yeah, uh, is and uh, Taiwan the Gaosan, the highest mountain in Taiwan, the Yushan. I inherited and learned so many different styles. I am the inheritor of the monkey fist door here in Taiwan. And by the way, I also learned different kind of martial art. Wu Zhu Quan, the southern or even the elder, elder ancestor, old ancestor fist in Taiwan. I'm also a member of that clan. Also, I learned different kind of uh, internal martial art like Ba Gua Zhang, Qi Gong, Tai Chi, um, Xing Yi Quan. So I really studied very deeply in the field of martial art. But I still, still practice and evolve my monkey fist. As a combat instructor for the special units, I had different kind of views. I, I, my specialty is actually in the CQB, high risk entries and hostage, hostage rescue. This is my, my specialty and also empty hand combatives. Okay. I would not say I'm a sniper, but I can shoot very well. No? I'm currently retired, so I can talk openly about what I have done in my life a little bit no? and what I achieve in my life. I, as a martial art instructor or even a practitioner, I always like to involve more in my martial art field and I like to emphasize the applicable martial art. So I test myself, I went to mixed martial art fights, Lay Thai fights, I won, I lost. I lost once, get KO'd by healthy, bad conditions and uh, suffering from, actually suffering from a marriage what I was living in for more than 10 years. Now I have a new life and I try to open my martial art for the, for the rest of the world. If they like to learn something from me, I learned a lot. I'm, I inherit a pure Shaolin style where the medicine, the hardened skill and the forms and breathing techniques are all included. If you're interested in that, you can try to connect me. No, if not, I'm not running after my students. Actually, I also think about to stop teaching. Only by asking so hardly from the VAVA team, the VAVA team from Finland, how to teach or please give something for the, for the public. I was considering first quite a long time and then I said a yes, because I have some knowledge need to spread out. 
we have the uh, I inherited some traditional Shaolin methods and I was researching and looking in the internet like YouTube for example where I can see a lot of uh, for my point of view mm, incorrect or incomplete knowledge I like to add a, a little bit from my point of view from the martial art and I will consider it as a minor improvement in the field of martial art. Um, why? It's like that. Why I practice so hard? In my life I saw a lot of cruelty stuff, killings and beatings. I saw all of that. I know martial art can change yourself from a bad person. You can become a better person. Not a better bad person, but actually a, a better human. And my point of view is we need to grow up and to see what kind of potential we can reach. That's me. Maybe in 10 years later, you can see another me, yeah? uh, where I can finally have a long beard and can be a real master. Yeah? The main goal is to become a master in life and also to help with this kind of knowledge for the society to help people in need. I hope I can provide with my knowledge because there is something that I have, maybe you need to have.